This video is to help add and subtract units of measurement. We began converting measurements. We have been working on customary units and metric units. We began with metric units in length. We have meters, centimeters, and kilometers. We use the letter M to represent meters, CM for centimeters, KM for kilometers. We have right here what we call our conversion friends. We need to become best friends with them and we know what they say, we listen to them, they will help us out in many situations. So we have one meter will equal 100 centimeters. We have one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. If I'm going from a bigger unit to a smaller unit, I multiply. For example, I have one meter. If I want to know how many centimeters are in it, I can multiply by 100. 1 times 100 equals 100 centimeters. Same, same thing for the kilometers. Kilometers is greater than meters. 1 times 1,000 gives me 1,000 meters. If I was going from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, I would divide. So it would be 100 centimeters divided by 100 would give me 1. If I'm going from meters to kilometers, I would divide by 1,000. So let's begin with adding. I have 7 meters, 75 centimeters, plus 2 meters, 65 centimeters. I have two strategies I could use. The first one, would I would convert. That means, in this case, I would convert my meters back into centimeters. By doing that, I would say 7 times 100 would be 700. 700 centimeters, add that back with our 75 centimeters, and I would have 775 centimeters. I would convert 2 meters back into centimeters. 2 times 100 gives me 200. Add that back with my 65, I would have 265 centimeters. Then I can add them together. So when I added 775 centimeters to 265 centimeters, I ended up with 1,040 centimeters. Don't forget to add, to put that unit back at the end of our numbers. Also, when you're adding or subtracting, you need to show your regrouping. So my final answer is 1,040 centimeters. I can change that back into meters and centimeter form. I know there's a hundred centimeters in one meter, so I can pull out 10 meters with 40 centimeters left over. Alright, so that was the first strategy, convert first, then add. Now I'm going to just add and then convert if necessary at the end. So I have my problem in horizontal form, I'm going to write it in vertical form. And that means that I'm going to line my units up. When I add or subtract, I can only add meters with meters, centimeters with centimeters, or kilometers with kilometers, and so on. So you see, I have it in vertical form and you can see my unit, light units together. With just like adding and subtracting regular numbers, I'm going to add my smallest units first, which are my centimeters. So when I add my centimeters, make sure you show regrouping, I get 140 centimeters. Now I'm ready to add my meters. It gives me 9 meters. So I end up with 9 meters, 140 centimeters. Check to see if you can convert. Well, I know my conversion friend tells me 100 centimeters gives me 1 meter. I have 100 centimeters I can convert into a meter. So I'm going to take that 100 centimeters away and convert it back into a meter. So that leaves me with 10 meters and 40 centimeters. 
So in the problem, 16 kilometers, 673 meters, plus 18 kilometers, 345 meters. I have taken that and I have put it in vertical form to line up my units of measurement. Now, I'm choosing the strategy, add, then convert. That strategy is more efficient in this way. I could choose the first strategy and convert my kilometers back into meters. But to be more efficient, I can just add then convert only one time instead of converting multiple times. So I'm going to add my smallest unit first, which are meters. Show regrouping if necessary. Don't forget your unit. Okay, I get 1,018 meters, adding my kilometers together. I get 34 kilometers. I can look. I look to see if I can convert. Well, my conversion friend says 1,000 meters is equal to one kilometer. I notice I have a thousand meters over there that I can convert into a kilometer. So I'm going to take that away and convert it. Gives me 35 kilometers and 18 meters. Now I'll have some students, when they're adding their meters, they can get to this part right here in the hundreds and they go, well, that is a thousand. I mean, that would be 10 hundreds. With, they have a thousand to regroup over here. Some of them know that 1,000 meters equals a kilometer. So instead of bringing that thousand down here, try again, they'll go ahead and put it in the kilometer spot, then add their kilometers together. Which gives our final answer at the end anyway. Moving on to subtracting. I have 7 meters, 25 centimeters, minus 2 meters and 65 centimeters. You think of what strategy are you going to use. You can convert first, or you can regroup and subtract. Now, we want to use a strategy that you are comfortable with and which is more efficient. You could convert first, change your meters into centimeters, and then subtract, convert back. Or you can line up your units, subtract, and regroup if necessary. So I'm going to show you the regrouping way first. Just like in adding, I have lined up my units of measurement. I just like in adding, I'm going to subtract my centimeters first since they are my smallest unit. I'm starting taking 65 centimeters away from 25 centimeters. I cannot take 65 away from 25. I do not have enough centimeters. So, but I know there is 100 centimeters in one meter. I have seven right here. I can take away one meter, which leaves me with six meters. Add that 100 centimeters back to 25, which gives me 125 centimeters. I am ready to subtract now. So regrouping if necessary. So I have 60 centimeters. Now I'll subtract my meters. 4 meters, 60 centimeters. Here I check my answer. Do I need to convert? I do not. I have 16 kilometers, 673 meters, minus 7 kilometers, 845 meters. I'm going to choose that efficient strategy of regrouping if necessary. So I'm going to set my problem up vertical style.
okay, that time where you could have solved it by yourself there. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, so I notice I have, when I start with subtracting my meters, I have 845 meters and I'm trying to take that away from 673 meters. I cannot take a bigger number from a smaller number. I need more meters. So I have a thousand meters in one kilometer. I can regroup, take one kilometer away, add that thousand meters back into the meter position, which gives me 1,673 meters. I can subtract, regroup if necessary. That leaves me with 828 meters. Subtract my kilometers. 15 minus 7 is 8. Sorry. 8 kilometers. Notice I do not need to convert 